I'm Jaslyn Nichols and I'm an artist. I feel like ever since I was little, I've always like drawn and I feel like that's like the earliest thing I remember. Um, I feel like I'm just one of those kids that never like stopped drawing when most kids do stop. So I feel like that's kind of what just like got me to where I am now. So, um, when I was little, it was like many different things, pretty much just like anything, but now it's mainly people. Um, <laughs> that's actually like all I paint, but I think that's kind of, I'm more fascinated with people now. Um, I think before, I didn't, not that I didn't show people, but I wasn't as proud of it as I am now, but now I'm more open to showing people, and I just love to see like how happy people get when they see it. I feel like I just started to take it more seriously, so now I actually like put more effort into it, and I actually think about like the outcome. Um, it really depends on the piece. Sometimes I go into it having an idea of like what I want it to look like come out as, but a lot of the times it's just like experimenting and putting different colors down, or if there's a certain artist that I'm interested in at the time, like with the orange one, I was really interested with an artist, and I really, like the color choices really came through with that, and I just really was fascinated with the bright colors. Again, I feel like I just, I think more effort into it, and I actually like think about it more, when before it was kind of just like drawing and not thinking of like how it would look, or how it would make me feel, but now I actually do it like as a therapy and like to kind of, um, to kind of like de-stress myself. Um, I usually, when I'm starting it, I usually start with music and I'll listen to music and sometimes I'll just like sit there for hours just listening to whatever. It doesn't necessarily matter what the music is, it just like fuels me and helps me get through it. But other times I like put on a nice movie that I like, but I don't pay that much attention to it. Um, I don't think that much, I feel like it kind of like influences like the strokes. Like if I'm listening to something that's more upbeat, it'll be like, more rugged, but if it's like softer, it'll be softer, if that makes sense. I feel like for anyone, like whether it's dancing, painting, or just whatever, I feel like it's mostly about like what is around you and what influences you and like how you put it back out there and just expressing yourself. I think when I was younger, I kind of didn't really like even think of any art like when I was growing up because I just had never seen anyone successful in it. But last year, I, my art teacher really influenced me to show that like you can be successful and still be an artist. So my plan is going forward to be an art teacher because I really want to like help other kids and like especially in underserved communities because it's something that can be very therapeutic for kids. So I feel like when I paint, especially with this one, I kind of just like fuse things together and I don't necessarily have like an outcome or an idea that I have in mind. But with this one, after when someone asked me what I was thinking of, I feel like it's kind of like a relationship and how it can be built differently, like through music or through time and through different medias. And I feel like in a relationship, it's good for you, like in a healthy one at least, it's good for people to grow and explore different things of themselves. Um, when I'm working like nonstop, when I have days off from school, it'll take me about a week or a little bit under that. Um, with this one, I think it took about two weeks, but it was on and off a lot. Um, this is my newest one, and there's not really a thought behind it. I just really liked the picture, and I was experimenting and trying to get more into realism, which is something I've been focusing on a lot lately. And I just really liked an artist again that I saw, and I loved her broad color choices that she used. Um, this one was, this is like my first one where I was like starting to build a more distinct style, I feel like. And with this one, again, there wasn't really like a thought. I was just really captured by like Frankenstein and like different pieces coming together. But when I look at it now, I can see that it like represents how different moments and different people like affect your life and they're kind of like the building blocks of you. And how different things can also affect you, like sad things or happy things, and they just build you. I would say just pursue it and don't necessarily think about like what other people are expecting from you. Because if you expect it like, if you're trying to meet what they're expecting, you're not going to be happy. Like you're not going to be pursuing what you actually want to do. You're going to be pursuing what you think you think that they want you to do. And I found that when I try to do that, it feels forced and the outcome isn't very good. 